This is a motor that I bought from Graham before he um, retired and um, this is how it came to me. I'm just going to open it up to show you how a nice good condition motor should look compared to the previous um, poorly <laughs> looked after motor. Um, and I've taken off the motor pulley and I'm now going to take out the brushes and I'm going to undo the motor housing with the two screws exactly as I did before. Okay, so first remove the screws holding everything together. There you go, number one. And number two, put these aside so you don't lose them. Okay, so let me just take the brushes out. Be very gentle with the Baker Light caps. Oops, there's your brush. And it's actually not too bad. Tiny little bit of carbon dust, but really not bad at all. Put those aside. Let me do the other side. And again, actually really doesn't look bad at all. Quite nice and clean. Okay, now I'm going to first remove the wire end of the motor housing. And again, being very careful not to yank on these wires because you don't want to damage the connection points to the, the inside. So again, push a little bit, slide out. You may need to push your armature back in again. Allow this wire to come out, and it's a case of just working gently and slowly. Okay, might have to push your armature back in again, very gently and slowly. Make sure that the wires pass freely and are never under tension as you take this housing end off and you can slip it off the wires. Okay, look how nice and clean the inside of this motor is when compared to the previous one. Um, really looks to be almost completely clean. A tiny little bit of dust here and there but really nothing serious at all. Put that aside for now and let me have a look. Um, that's interesting, this little washer over here is missing, so I would actually replace that. Um, you can see it didn't come out in the, the housing, so I would put my little washer back there from another, probably the motor that I don't think I'm going to get um, to be able to run again. Right, now we're going to remove the other side. Now remember this is the side where the brushes tubes are attached to the wires that go to the field coils. So you have to be very gentle and very careful when you remove this. You don't want to place any strain on those wires. So I'm going to just slowly and carefully slide it out. Ah, okay. And here I'm going to show you what capacitors in the motor look like. So I'm going to very gently and carefully just ease this open. I don't want to place any undue strain on the, the attachment points of the wires to the motor brushes tubes. Okay, I'm going to actually just use my hand to gently straighten these wires. And then I'm going to show you where the capacitors sit. This machine is, uh, this motor is in really good condition. There's very little carbon dust. The wires look to be in excellent condition. But, and look how clean the commutator is, there's only a little bit of um, sort of carbon that you have to clean off there. It looks actually almost brand new. Again, be careful not to lose your little washer. Place it back. This motor really looks to be brand new. I don't think this thing's run for more than a couple of hours, maybe. But have a look what's here. So, outslips our friend, unfriend, the capacitor. There it is. And as I said in the previous video, 
it sits in this little sleeve here with this um, insulation paper in and I just take those out you don't need them so let's take it out on the other side as well have a close look there there it comes out okay and take out the insulation paper as well Okay, so these capacitors you don't need anymore. They can be a real nuisance in your machine if they melt and uh, leak wax all over the inside of the motor. So we're going to remove them. Now, in order to do that, you obviously need a pair of wire cutters, but I want to show you where they're actually attached. So the first side of each capacitor, the little wire going from the capacitor, is attached to a little point as you can see soldered over there so I take that wire and I give it a little tug up so that I lift off the bit of solder and the connection point and then I'm going to actually cut it oh, as close as I can from the attachment point be careful not to cut anything else in your motor there we go you can see I've got a nice clean cut over there right I'm going to turn this over because I'm going to first cut the other one before I take them off the brushes tubes. So be careful with your armature. So again, here is the wire running up towards the attachment point there. Give it a little tug so that it comes up proud from the base and very carefully again snip it. There we go. Make sure there are no little bits that can touch anything or rub on anything. There we go, the first part is done. Now, if you look inside this end, you'll see that the capacitor wire is the red one here. I've seen them in previous motors where they've been the same color as the uh, wires that come off of the, the field coils. So what I do is this, here you can clearly see where you're cutting so cut the wire about a centimeter from the point where they're attached to the tubes. Now you throw this capacity away. Using your wire cutters, carefully and gently lift off the plastic sheathing from the end of that wire if you can. Sometimes it doesn't come off and you have to, have to maneuver with your hand a little bit. And then if you have got a clear view, it helps to get this off. There we go because now you can see exactly where to cut on the, on the wire. I'm going to cut as close as possible to this brush tube tab and then I'm going to be careful not to leave the little wire behind. It's popped out. Okay, same on the other side. You'll see the capacitor wire over here. Cut it about a centimetre or so from the attachment point take the horrible capacitor out use your wire cutters just to pull that plastic off if you can there we go and now you can see clearly where to cut you don't want to cut the tab or you don't want to cut the other wire by mistake so make sure that you have got a good view of where you're cutting there we go that's it the capacitor is now out <laughs>